Hey Judy from Witch Peace Craft, welcome to today's video. My review of May. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with where I finished up in May. Today is Saturday the 29th of May and all I've really got left to do is sewing some ends and start getting organised for what I'm going to finish or do in June. So during the month of May I celebrated International um, Tea Day and I made quite a few tea cosies which took up most of my time so I didn't get a lot done on my mouths and um, cows that I'm in. I did the movie and stitch for the letter H and the Lady Beanie using the um, my stash yarn and then it started instead of doing a birthday giveaway like I have in the past years I just picked a couple of um, loyal subscribers from different comments and sent some yarn so starting with my scorched earth challenge my yarn stash usage including the three lots of happy mail that I sent it was pretty good it was 3061 meters um, because the yarn I sent as happy mail came out of my stash to reduce some in my stash which gives me the opportunity to buy more um, so that equated to about 3,347 something yards. So I know two people have received the happy mail. It was a bit of a surprise and I'm hopeful the third one will receive it this week. Um, that was my scorched earth challenge. Besides the fact um, I really did use a lot of stash yarn for my tea cozies and other projects so it was a pretty good month using up my stash yarn yes I did buy some yarn I took that into account if I hadn't got a project for it but some of it I do have a project for and some of it I've used so then we go on to promoting fiber arts for May so we were asked to make poppies or flowers I believe um, this is Memorial Day weekend in the US um, possibly Canada I'm not sure but yes I hope you take time to reflect remember um, those who have served your country and honor them I did make the first lot of poppies and I did a video on dropping that off to Ken's poppy on I'll put a link to that in the description below I finished the other half for May there's some ends to sew in <laughs> but that's the rest of May's poppies 31 poppies and I'm also sending yarn and flowers to a uh, public school in New South Wales that is doing a, a fibre art display. And I finished their flowers, 31 flowers for May in different colours. And yes, I think after this morning I finally finalised this dash yarn that I will send off to them um, next week. So that was promoting fiber arts during May. I'm really keen to see what um, Dana comes up with for June. So other cows I have entered into May's Ami Gurumyalong. No, I haven't forgotten Kitty Mum Penny's Ami Gurumyalong. I did make something, and this is Ollie, the traveling owl. Now Ollie has an older brother on Instagram called Oswald. Who travels quite a bit. His um, travel agent is Ulia. Now Ulia gave me the heart nose for the owl. She gave me quite a few and she put me on to this pattern and um, I love him. He turned out great and now I have more owl noses. I can finish those owl tea cozies I want to make. The pattern is um, Travel Owl Plush. It's on Ravelry, Ravelry, designed by Josephine Wu for a morning cup of Joe's creations. That's it there. I've written all over it and it's in black and white. But I will put a link to that in the description below. There's some pictures on the back of the travelling owl and how to make him. So that was for Kitty Mums and me along for the month of May. Ta-da! I'm getting quite good at these little Annies. <laughs> so then... Other magics, I mean, Zeta's calendar cow, um, which is she shows you the picture for May and you make a cow or you can make anything. Well, I actually did do what I guess you'd call a cow, 
but we would call a head sock. Now I have put taken some photos or of me wearing it and I'll put some at the end because it's quite big. Here it is. I hopefully I reflect the colours of the pictures. Now I did this, this is a knitted um, just something I did together, but I did try, um, I used to do it many, many years ago before I gave up knitting and crocheting. Um, I call it drift knitting, but I believe some call it fade knitting. Now I'm not sure it works well with solid colours, but they were the colours I felt reflected Zeta's calendar cow for May. And yeah, I'm quite proud of that. It is big for me. I would do it, um, make it a lot smaller. The yarn I used was um, Marvel, uh, Spotlight Marvel yarn, a local yarn in 100% acrylic. It's lovely and soft. I used the solids and I used the stripes to get the effect of the picture. And I'll put a, pic a copy of the picture at the end of the video with the cow. And let's, um, you can leave a comment. Let me know if I nailed the layout of the picture. But I'm quite proud of that. And I did enjoy the drift knitting. I probably would do it again. I actually do have enough of all these colours left over to do a Ross beanie in drift knitting. Whether I do or not is another thing. But that was for Zeta's calendar cow. And I'm quite proud of that. I really did enjoy doing it. Um, let me have a look at my notes. Um... So the other thing is, I'm a big fan of Eurovision. Um, if you don't know what Eurovision is, it's a big song contest. You'll have to Google it. And sometimes it can be a little crazy. This year, my favourites were Iceland and Norway, just because they were different. And during Eurovision, because it's a lot of television watching and early hours of the morning, I worked on my advent blanket that is now almost queen size because that's the size and the goal I intended to do. I added the um, Panda Arrow Craft yarn in 8-ply there. That was the yarn I bought in Melanda, that video. And the top um, row that goes right round is Carnival Soft 8-ply, which is Big W, a store here, big box store, I guess you'd call it. Their yarn. It's lovely and soft. But this is huge. And I do have a photo at the end of Reeves holding it up. But he doesn't want his face publicly out there. So you won't see his face. Um, yeah, he's a bit funny about social media and posting pictures. And uh, yeah, so he's holding it up because he's the tallest at being over six feet in our family to hold it up. When Thing tried to hold it up, he was buried. Um, so yeah. Um, what else have I done? Not a lot. That was May in review. The tea cozies did take up a lot of my time. And I'm doing this on the 29th because I have to be back on the 1st of June to do the June birth stain make-along colours, which I'm really excited about. So, guys, don't forget to post your pictures on the face in the Facebook group or in Instagram or email them to me. Um, I love to see it, yes. Right now, green is out there for May as the most popular colour, but there's still a few days to go. Let's see what comes in. It's great seeing the pictures. Um, let me know how your mate went with the comments below. And yeah, I'm excited about June because I made some actual written plans for June. So let's see if I can stick to them because I'm not very good. I see something and go, oh, I've got to make that. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting quite excited about June because we have a big surprise coming in the next week. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Take care. Stay safe. To all those subscribers in Victoria, in the southern state, who've gone into yet their fourth lockdown, my heart goes out to you. I hope you're not in lockdown for longer than the seven days that they have said, and I wish you well. Until next time, make sure you have one crafty day. Making some poppies for Memorial Day. Wouldn't that be nice? Bye for now.